What's up everyone, Mysteriosity again appearing on your screens, this time today bringing you a video on Matsuo Mine. Matsuo Mine is now currently part of the city of Hachimantai, sorry if I pronounced that name wrong, which is located in northern Japan, and it was a sulfur and iron mine, but its primary exploitation was sulfur, and it was once considered the largest sulfur mine in the Far East. It was in operation from 1914 until 1971, and the area was completely abandoned in 1979, leaving a ghost town behind. So with Matsuo Mine, I'm just going to come out and say it, there isn't anything really wildly fascinating or mysterious to talk about here, but I just wanted to talk about it today because I think it's a pretty unique place. Obviously, ghost towns are everywhere. I mean... Sometimes you can find them easily and sometimes not. And that is the thing with Matsuo Mine, I think, that makes it unique. Matsuo Mine, um, it's actually pretty hard to find. A lot of people who have ventured out to find it before have actually not been able to find it due to the dense mist that surrounds the area. And they end up just giving up and go home. But however, a few people have actually managed to find it, specifically an individual named Michael John Grist, who's courtesy of the YouTube channel that you're seeing here. He explored Matsuo Mine and then documented this footage here, and from what you see, it's just... It's an abandoned town. You really get that eerie sort of ghost town feeling, you know? That kind of feeling where it's like, you know, this was once a place that was bustling with life, but it's now just dead. Adding to just the general creepiness of Matsuo Mine, then, you know, you also get this really dense mist here. Looking at it, you immediately think of the Stephen King novel, The Mist. And it's really almost like that in a way, because people have actually reported seeing strange figures walking around. It was so far out in the countryside that they had to build apartment complexes for the workers to live in, and it's like people have reported seeing strange figures lurking around those apartment complexes. Now, there's actually no video or photographic proof to back this up. It's just from accounts of people who have managed to find the place, and then, you know, they supposedly see strange figures lurking around and some people have even reported seeing monsters I guess without any physical proof to back it up I mean you kind of can't really take it that seriously but regardless of that even if there are no strange figures of maybe workers who died while working on the mine or some monsters that inhabit the abandoned mining town now since humans are rarely ever there it's still a very creepy place do you get creeped out just from uh, looking at photos and videos of it. Is it in any way intriguing to you whatsoever? It is definitely for me. That's why, I, well, I did a video on it. So, whatever your thoughts, whatever your opinions, leave them in the comment section below. Be sure to send me any mysterious footage you've captured, whether photo or video from whatever kind of device. Send it to me via my email, which will be posted in the description below or in the outro card at the end of this video. And don't forget to follow me on social media. I recommend Twitter the most. Something I might as well also say while I'm here is that I actually recently created an Amino profile. From what people say about it, you know, it's one of the best places where you can get, like, all sorts of stories concerning, well, UFOs and paranormal and urban legends and creature sightings, most of which is t what I talk about on my channel. So I wanted to just check it out and see what I would find. So just to let you know, in case you have an Amino profile, maybe you can go follow me on there. So like, share, comment, subscribe, show support, and I will return it by giving you guys the best content that I can possibly deliver. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, peace out!